friends and you're welcome back to this crypto news channel if you're just joining us for the first time don't forget to subscribe to this channel in fact subscribe right now so if you're just stumbling on this video for the first time if you're not part of the community on uh, on youtube if you're not part of the subscribers on the channel then you are welcome man and today i want to show you how to use a futures trading board that is more advanced than what you can see on any exchange right so that's what I want to teach you today. So at the end of this tutorial, you will learn how uh, edge mode works, what it means, how to, how to take advantage of it, how to reduce your loss with it and maximize your profit with it, right? And you learn how to set up a futures trading board using uh, Binance account, okay? Once your Binance is linked to the futures trading board, then you are good to go. So stick around to me to the end of the video and i'll show you how to switch from single mode on binance to edge mode you know and maximize your profit and reduce your loss as much as possible right so now i want you guys to do something for me i want you guys to subscribe to the channel okay we are looking forward to having like thousands and thousands of subscribers very soon okay so you have 100 videos on cryptocurrencies right here okay so go to the channel Go to the playlist and watch as many videos as you want, you know, learn about how to trade cryptocurrency. I made a special play playlist for you, for beginners, okay? Crypto trading for beginners is really an awesome um, store for you guys, alright? So, turn on the notification button, subscribe, like this video, make a comment down below, and let me know what you think about the video, alright? So, let's go to Binance and see how these things work. Where is Binance again, alright? So, that's, this, this is Binance. I'm going to switch to Futures. From Futures, you're going to come here. These three dots, then click on preferences. When you click on preferences, this is where everything is done. Okay. Now, the single mode or one direction mode, the way it works is that let's assume that you are trading BTC and you know you can only you can you can either short BTC or long BTC. You cannot maintain a, the same assets, you know, on this on different positions, right? But the edge mode allows you to short BTC and long BTC at the same time. But there's a problem with that. The problem with that is that um, there is something called funding fee. Let me show you what it means. This is funding fee, okay? Funding, funding fee is now at 0.1%. So, I look at the countdown, right? And this 0.1%, it is likely that you'll be paying it like three times or four times in a day. So, you are paying it like three times in a day, that's 0.03%, right? So, if you're on this position, you are not making profit, you're not making gain for a long time, for a long time. Then the problem right there is that you will be paying for the fee and you are still losing money somehow okay to uh, to binance to exchange so now the the bulls are paying the bears it could change also where the where the the, the bears will pay the bull that's how it works okay so now we're going to experiment this with a tiny amount of money okay this is like a hundred USDT here okay but the bot will only allow you to use only 50 only 50 percent of, of what you what you have here all right so now the next thing now is that let's go back to i just want to quickly explain the concept of funding fee to you guys so that you know exactly what you are into so now it's on edge mode already so this is a one-way mode so let's assume that by default, all the Binance users, once you create your account and you create your futures trading account, you are going to be assigned a one-way mode. That is the default mode, okay? But well, most people don't know that you can change to edge mode. This is how to change to edge mode. Just come here and change to edge mode. It's as simple as that, right? It's as simple and straightforward. Now, the next thing now is that since we've changed that to edge mode, so the next thing we want to do now is to go back to our bots. This is the bot. Now we have different bots here. You have S bot, classic bot, combo bot. So I'm not going to go into full details about that. There are lots. There are about 17 videos on bot trading on the channel already. So you guys just go to the video and learn more about how these things work. So, but for the sake of this conversation of this experiment, it's an experiment. If it works the way we have, we, we anticipated it on paper. You know it has been simulated on paper i discussed it with people in the uh, with our friends in the community on whatsapp people to comment on whatsapp about this so on paper when i submitted it it's making sense but we want to test it if it's going to work the way we want it in reality all right in reality let's see if it's going to work in reality so now the next thing we want to do right here is to click on the combo board because Combo bot is only available for Binance. So the, 
the developers of this software, of this trading software, they are working on having um, features bought that will work for other exchanges too. So I'm glad to actually share that with you also. All right. So this is the bot. If you want to sign up for this bot, there is an affiliate link down below. Okay. Sign up. Don't Google anything and stumble on the official websites. Okay. It doesn't make any sense, right? So now I want to experiment on EUS, EUS, USDC. Okay. Because you know people know you guys know that I trade this asset a lot and I make you know profit profit from it a lot. So now here is it. You're not going to use 50% of it. You want to use half. Let's use 25 USDT from here. Okay, this is on isolated mode. Okay, don't use cross mode. Okay, for this experiment. Now, this is 5x. The highest you can do with the bot is 10x, right? That's the highest you can do with this bot. And we are on 5x. The other trade I made, I think I made about 35% profit on that. The other trade I, I cancelled. Okay, so that trade it was you know it was live for like three to five days, okay, about five days, yeah, correctly. So now I had to like stop that trade so that because I was on a single mode, one way mode. So if I did not cancel all the trades I have, I will not be able to switch to edge mode. That's how it's been programmed. So now I did that, I canceled that, and I want to start the new experiment now. So here is the new experiment. Um, I'm gonna change this to like 20. This is 20, then I'll change this to 25 again. 25, this should be able to work. There, should be, there shouldn't be any error message with that. Okay. So the grid step is 0.95%. All right. So let me see if I can increase this to 22% so that we we'll maximize our funds. How about 23? How about 25? There's going to be a problem here. How about 24? Okay, let's maximize it. 24. So it means that the bot will create more grids. Okay, it will be trading like aggressively. Like aggressively, right? So I'm going to say the TP. Once this thing gets to 3.1 USD per EOS, then you should definitely, you should definitely hit the store and take profit. But the stop loss is. Uh, let's make our stop loss like um, 2.38. Does 38 make sense? Okay, I think it's okay that it's okay like that. So everything is everything is set. The first thing you want to do is I want to long. After longing, you want to short. You want to short it. That's the next thing I want to do. So we're going to come here. Or let me reduce this to 24 USDT so that at least you can have something to pay. Okay, I think 25 is okay. You still have something to pay for the trading fee. So the next thing is that just click on start. So but before you click on start, analyze the parameters again so that you know that you're not making any mistake. So as you can see, our leverage is 5x. Our direction is long. Our margin type is isolated. The margin amount is 25. The levels is 24. That's correct. We have our step to be 0 0.795, you know, I think everything is perfect right now. So, the next is to click on confirm. Yeah, it's teaching us the parameters again. Okay. So, let's confirm it. So, it will start creating multiple orders. Oh, I think there is a problem here. To start creating multiple orders. We're going to try it again anyways. We'll try again. Let me go back. But okay, let's try it again. They will click on combo bots. Sometimes I, you know, I experience such error. But if I should experience it second time, I know that there is something wrong at the exchange side of it. So let's maintain this and change this to twenty four. The way we did it earlier on, twenty four. Then um, take profit should be this. Let it let it be like this. Then um, this should be like 0.38. Okay. Then after seeing this parameter, they are okay. Then let me click on start again. Then confirm. Confirm again. Let's see if this is gonna work this time around. But if it's not working, it means that the edge mode cannot be used with this, right? It cannot be used with this. So what you're going to do now is this. I'm going to go back to Binance and switch to one-way mode. So the way this bot is configured, 
it is obvious right there that the edge mode cannot be used with the bots. So you can only use the one-way mode, okay? So it's really, it, it is really sad, actually, but then there is nothing you can do about it. You know, it's their rules, it's their game, and there is nothing you can do about it. That's how it's been programmed, okay? So, but when you go back to exchange here, I will switch to single to one way mode. Then you see that something will change. Let's switch this to one, one way mode. Okay, preference. Then um, one way mode. Then let's go back to the bots and start the bot again. Okay, let me refresh this so that you can start the bot again. So I'm going to go to features and start new bots. Okay. This time around, I'm going to start new bots with 50%. Okay. Because we are not using edge mode any longer with some 50 USDT. So now it is starting that we are maximizing everything. Now let's take, let's set our take profit points. Take profit point should be 3.1. If that is okay, that's okay. So the stop loss should be like 3.4. All right. So that's okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do now, right, is to click on start. Start the board, man. Start. So are we long enough we are shorting? No, I prefer that we short. I prefer that we short. <laughs> it's better we short too. Because the market is not looking like it should go, it should pump like that. So let's short this. So I'm going to increase this to... 50 all right 50 they will short between that the range of 2.4 to 2.9 that makes sense right so the tp is here and the trailing stop loss because we are shorting it's here so let me okay that i think 12 percent 12.41 percent loss is not bad okay it's not bad so i'm gonna start this with the red button so now, now let's start this and you see how it works it's showing, it's showing us the parameters again. I will confirm it once more. Then you discover that this will work. This will work. It will set like it is to place 30 orders and start trading. Start shorting. Every opportunity short. Every opportunity short. Then I will click on done. All right. So this is how the parameters will look like. You know, can you see it? These are the parameters will look like. So the bot will start doing what it knows how to do best. So that is really how to use the Binance, uh, how to use a combo bot on BitGap, the, the features bots, you know, and create and launch a trade, you know, and launch a bot, start a bot and use for trading. So that's how it is. So I'm going to leave a link to this bot so that you can monitor the progress also on your own. So I could, probably, I could possibly leave this bot to trade on its own for like seven days. So I'm going to include this also in the um, video description so that you guys, you guys can look at it. And see if it makes sense and it's not it's not making sense. All right, so that is all about the future trading board right now. So see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.